What is up guys, Andrew Rick is here and I'm going to show you how to get unlimited purple weapons. That is correct, unlimited, and they will be your level. So this is uh, like one of the greatest exploits I have found in this game. So you got to go to Claptrap's um, place and get that thing in the fire I just got. It's like a, a gear. And it's very easy to find, you saw it. Uh, just, yeah, I got to fast travel to Claptrap's place and get it from the fire. Now... You may you may have seen a video on this. Probably not. It's not very well known. This is also kind of known. Uh, uh, sorry. <clears throat> wow. Sorry about that. This is also kind of known as the Lord of the Rings glitch because you get that. It's called a gear, but it's like a ring, and then you take it to a volcano in Iridium's Reach, and you like drop it in the volcano. So it's pretty much it's Lord of the Rings, right? Now the trick about this glitch is what you have to do is you have to get the ring from the fire to the volcano without fast traveling and you can't die now some people think that you have to uh, walk the entire way that you can't take a vehicle but that's actually not true you can take uh, a vehicle and it makes it ten times easier so once you pick up the ring just start running and follow the route that I'm going to go here and it's the quickest way to get to uh, Iridium's reach now this whole video you may have noticed the the whole thing is 10 minutes long so that's how long it's gonna take you to get the ring travel all the way there get all the weapons you want and then save and quit so every 10 minutes you're getting um, you'll see but you're getting you'll get it sorry you are getting a hundred percent one chest filled with purple stuff so yeah, if you, I'll put like an annotation or something in, so you can, if you know, you think you know how to get there, you can just uh, skip ahead to the final instructions. But uh, yeah, if you want to watch the, I'm, I'm just going to put the, the whole journey, uh, if you will, the, the whole trip to Mount Doom. Uh, so yeah, feel, enjoy the video. Uh, I already basically ran out of things to talk about at minute at 2 minutes and 23 seconds so um this is gonna be weird <clears throat> anyway I'm just trying to think uh, stuff to talk about I've noticed in Borderlands 2 that there is a lot less kind of weapon getting and, and good weapon getting like if you are Borderlands 1 veteran I think you'll probably agree with me that you know in Borderlands 1 you were switching your weapons that you had equipped a lot like uh, every every like second or third chest Probably not that much, but you know what I mean. Every like second or third chest, you'd be holding X to swap because you'd have like an assault rifle, but then you'd find always find one that's better. Uh, this game is not really the case. It seems a little bit harder to get loot, and it's definitely harder to get good loot from enemies. Enemies, I have like gotten one gold weapon, like just one, one gold weapon that wasn't a part of a quest, and that's when I when I restarted. For playthrough 2 and I killed Knuckle Drigger, I got a gold pistol. It was pretty sweet. I used it for a very long time. Um, so yeah, another quick tip though uh, is that don't beat playthrough 2 before you do this. Technically, you could do this. I think whenever the last um, thing from the I don't I don't I don't even think that this game restrains the like where you can travel. So I think you might be able to do this as soon as you want to. Oh, by the way, when you deploy the vehicle, I would say don't teleport to it. Like, just deploy it and back out. Simply because I haven't tried this, so if you teleport, it may still work for you. But I just don't want to have to, like, I don't want to have to risk it. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to have to wait, waste 10 minutes just to see. But just on a hunch I had, I think that if you go in the vehicle, I think that's a good idea to not, say, teleport to vehicle because in the game's coding that might count like as a teleportation um, and so it might not work uh, when you try to uh, go there so yeah just exit out of the menu and then just hop in the vehicle just to make sure like that's how I do it and 100% works for me so it'll take you like one extra second to go around um, just to make sure if you want to be the one who like tries to teleport and then go all the way and see if it still works if you teleport to your vehicle go ahead but for me, I just always exit out of the menu. Anyway, yeah, the, back to what I was talking about. You you don't want to beat this on your second playthrough, and then go for it because when you beat the second playthrough, all the enemies everywhere scale to your level. 
So you saw me kill those bully mogs in like one or two hits from my uh, whatever like rifle I had. Um, if they if I had beaten playthrough two, like I'm pretty close to beating playthrough two, but if I had beaten it and then done this, um, they would have be le been like level fifty two, and I would have had to like actually battle them in order to um, in order to, in order to get past. So it's much easier if you just uh, do it where you haven't completed playthrough two. So all the enemies that you go by are just a, a way lower level, and basically those bully mugs are the only guys you have to fight. I never actually take the time to go and, and fight these guys right here. Like uh, to my right, that's like just a quest for Mordecai, uh, that weird bus. But yeah, they're attacking me, but I have f far enough health that I don't need to retaliate and and you know f waste my time fighting them out back. I can just you know give her one ten. Anyway, yeah, if you're confused on where we're going, we're going just um, at in the very you know corner there's uh, in the dust there's a place that goes right to the iridium blight which is pretty freaking quick and dirty a little cutie cutie detour right there but yeah this is actually like I was surprised how easy this is and also just how many times you like I did it like five times today like it was insane the best was when I got um, like purple weapons are always nice but I got a, a, a grenade chest and I got some like incredible grenades the awesome thing is some like the chests scale to your level like I'm level 49 and I'm getting I'm always getting level 49 weapons from this um, from this glitch so I'm pretty sure that it, it scales your level and here's another quick tip if, you, if you're one of the few people who probably hasn't skipped ahead if you saw I drove by that um, little station there with it has some uh, the ammo thing and uh, the you know what I'm talking about, that little station there with the place where you could sell and where you could fast travel. You want to activate that be beacon because when you save and quit and then when you're at the main menu and then you click continue so you can do this quest over and over again, if you activate that beacon that you saw me drive by, um, that's what you want because then when you click continue, that's where you're going to start so you can just sell your weapons right there. If you don't drive close enough to that thing, you'll start um, where you initially came into uh, Iridium's Blight or whatever this place is called and you'll have to walk all the way to that place where I told you to drive by. So yeah, drive by that little place with the, the stations and just activate that beacon because it'll definitely make things easier. So yeah, once you get to this place it's very clear that you're gonna have to get out of your car because I'm pretty sure driving a car over these little thin uh, things of metal would end pretty badly. There's only, even though it like, looks like there's kind of two routes, you're going to have to like jump over the lava flow a couple of times. Um, so yeah, just be careful of that. Um, there's one spot well, I will point out, but here, just make sure you're running. You just run and jump and wait until you get like to the end of the... This thing, as you can see, the rock slides forward, but it doesn't push you off or anything. It only slides to a maximum amount, so you can just you know run past that and don't get too worried about that. Yeah, the, the metal things, just trust the metal things. Once you get to the end of the metal thing, jump and you'll be okay every time. There's one spot coming up though. You should um, be aware that the lava rises and falls. Uh, you'll see as soon as I get uh, up here and look down, you'll see the lava does rise. So make sure you don't just blindly jump uh, because it could be in the process of rising. You can get in trouble and you don't have to like go all the way back and get the ring again. Because like I said, if you die, you're screwed. You're going to have to make the whole journey all over again. So it's not that big a deal, but it is, you know, kind of 10 minutes that you waste. So just be careful of that. You don't want to, like, do something stupid and, and screw up for no reason. Anyway, you'll get to right here at this point, and you'll get Geary, or whatever his name is. And you have to get him to hit you once. So just go and he stand in front of him, Incoming. and he'll smack you uh, once like that. You'll get the his, like, he kind of uppercuts you. That's the motion that you need, and then he'll start to run away. Like, he takes the rim from, ring from you, he runs away, and he'll jump into the lava. Now, he actually drops a purple head. So one, like, I have done this glitch a few times. You may want to do it once and kill him as soon as you see him, because he does drop a unique head uh, for your character. So, yeah, that's the thing. So, as you can see, the racks come by, they drop three things. One of them, like, two of them are just normal chests. There's that one there. The one on the other side is just a normal chest. Luck of the draw, right? It could be a gold weapon. It could be a shitty green weapon like that. But the middle one is 100% purples. No matter what 
no matter like what's in there it will be purple weapons like right here is grenades class mods so this is an awesome exploit and all you gotta do is click quit save and quit and just do it again and again and again so i hope you enjoyed this video um that's pretty much it for this time uh as always have a good day and remember to subscribe because i'm putting up borderlands 2 videos all the time